Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWire. So I'm sat in a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Next to me is an Audi R8, and next to that is a Nissan GTR that's been tuned by Litchfield. So let me tell you about this car. It has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 with 640 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. That Audi is pretty much the same car underneath. It's got the same 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10, though in that car it puts out 600 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. That's actually a normal R8. Eight, but it's been tuned to give the performance of the plus. Next to it is the tuned GTR. So that has a 3.8 litre twin turbo V6. However, it's been tuned by Litchfield, different downpipes, ECU, exhaust, new injectors. They haven't upgraded the turbos though, but still it puts out 670 horsepower and 830 newton meters of torque. So it does have the performance advantage. It is the heaviest car here though. It weighs 1,750 kilos, which is 100 kilos heavier than the R8 and quite a bit heavier in this Performante. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Obviously, this is the most expensive car, then the Audi, and then the Nissan. They've all got launch control, all all-wheel drive. We're going to see what happens. Now, before we race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you will not miss a single video. And if you want to follow the guys who own these cars, the links to their Instagram channels are below in the description. Anyway, let's get on with the race, shall we? Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we get on with the race, let's do a sound check. I expect this and the Audi to sound very similar, though this has a louder exhaust, but let's give it a go. First, the Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, that just revs up so freely. I love a V10. Let's hear the R8. Go on then, R8, do your thing. I think that sounds better to you. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, R8, have you got a tuned exhaust on that car? Completely stuck. That's awesome. Anyway, let's hear this GTR. Not bad either. So that GTR, that's got a tuned exhaust, hasn't it? It's a Litchfield exhaust, right? Yeah, it's a full uh, turbo back exhaust, that one. It's by Linny Tuning. Oh, okay. By Lynn, apparently. Is that the woman that works for Alan Partridge? No offence, Lynn, but your life is technically not worth insuring. <laughs> Lynn! Anyway, that's enough chatter. Should we get on with this race, guys? <laughs> Totally jump the start. We won't let up. Because this is insanely quick. I think the GTR might have him. No. Whoa. R8, come in, R8. I think he might have jumped the start somewhat. I think I was slightly early. Slightly early. Cheeky little jumper. Let's give another go. Bogged a bit. It bogged, and that GTR had it. It didn't launch like it should have done. Uh, Asif, you need to keep accelerating well past the line because I came past you in the end. Probably beat you, even though you will have beaten me because your launch was better. Come on, third time lucky. Hopefully the GTR will continue accelerating past the finish line so we get a proper time out of it and that this will launch properly. It just kind of bogged into second. It was a bit odd. And I know this could be a demon off the line, so come on, perf. We can do it. I know you're Italian and a bit temperamental, but do it, please. <laughs> Did it a bit again, but I'm off. Oh, I've blown him away. This is a monster. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Lamborghini completed the standing quarter mile in 10.5 seconds. The Nissan crossed the line in 10.9 seconds. And the Audi took 11 seconds. 
All right, now we're going to take the launch out of the equation. We're going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in their comfort settings and automatic mode for the gearbox. So get to 50 miles an hour, right? As if get level with the R8. Okay, you ready? I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Floor it. Oh. Can I catch that GTR? Oh, he bottled. Oh, slow down, slow down. I think the GTR had that, by the way. Really good kick down on the GTR. The R8 was left somewhat. Did it kick down pretty well? It looked like it did. Really, yeah, yeah. I just don't think it's got the power. How about you and your GTR, Asif? How was that on the kick down? I'll be honest with you, the kick down was quite slow, but once the turbo kicked in, it just went. So the kick down on this was quite slow. It's like it kicked down almost like 25 gears because I ended up right at the top of the rev range near the red line, which is quite annoying. And then it started going and I got past the R8, but it was tricky to catch you because you were gone. I reckon if you hadn't backed off and we had a bit more runway, I could have probably come past you, but we're going to find out now by taking the gearbox out of the equation this time. Right, now we're going to have a rolling race. This time the cars are in their sporty setting and they're in third gear. We're going to have manual mode for the gearbox, so we've got to change up ourselves. This is just all about the response of the engine. Here we go then. Now count it in. Get level, Asif, come on, get level. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this picked up so sweet. Can I get past that GTR? Can I? I can't. I absolutely can't. That's enough. Brake, brake, brake. That's the GTRs. I, I don't even know what happened there. How was it? The response to this was brilliant. I think it was probably the same as your car. The GTR, though, it seemed to just leap off. Did you say something about your car having some kind of rolling launch or something, Asif? It's got a rolling launch feature, but I didn't have it on. Now we're going to do a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the line, full emergency stop. Here's the line. Oh, look at that, the R8 won one. He probably braked early, but have a look at the replay, guys. Did he brake early? Did he? Shall we give it him? So the GTR didn't do so well this time. Is it because your car is the fattest one here? Yeah, definitely. It felt so heavy when I was braking. It just seemed a lot heavier than them two. It's not called Godzilla for nothing, is it? A big, dirty, heavy dinosaur, that thing is. But awesome performance. R8 did well. You didn't brake early, did you, Ben? Braked on the line. Pretty impressed. If he didn't, it's quite easy what happened. This won the drag race. The GTR won the rolling races. And the R8 won the brake test. So it's one each. Now, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, let me know some other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. This car's been lent to me by a guy called Kane Hennessy. If you want to see more about this car and his Instagram channel, the link is in the description below. You can also follow Ben, who owns the R8, and Asif, who owns the GTR, and by following the links to their Instagram channels below as well. Finally, why don't you check out an amazing deal I found on the Audi R8 on Carway. If you click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen, you can see just how much discount you can get on one of those new. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. How much is your R8, by the way? I bought it for 80, it's probably worth around 70,000 now, I guess. Brand new, they're about 130 grand, aren't they? How about that GTR, how much is that? I paid 70 for it um, about a year ago and they go for going for about 60 now. This Performante, I think, when it was new, is like 215 grand. It's a lot more expensive. Therefore, I expect great things from it. They don't, they don't care.